We're making our way past the Delaware beaches today, and we're on our way to the Maryland border. Welcome to May's Ways. I'm Kevin, your host, coming at you from the passenger seat. We spent three days making our way south through Delaware, from Wilmington to Rehoboth Beach. And this evening, we'll make our way due south, past Bethany Beach to Fenwick Island and the state line. We spent our morning over in Cape May, New Jersey, see previous video, and since the ferry back runs only on specific times, we didn't want to stay over in Cape May all day, so we took the lunchtime ferry back, grabbed some lunch at Grandpa Max, and walked around Rehoboth Beach for a bit. It's off season though, so a lot of things are closed, not to mention the ongoing pandemic. So we decided to jump back onto Delaware One and head down to Ocean City in Maryland. Immediately after these homes, right here, and then again, further down the road on the left, are two World War II era fire control towers. We saw one of these near the shipwreck over at Cape May. These towers were to be used to locate the enemy out at sea and direct the fire of guns during an attack. Such an attack never happened, but there was great worry that the Germans would eventually show up on our coast. Having passed the towers, we're now driving through Delaware Seashore State Park. The Atlantic Ocean is on our left and Rehoboth Bay is on our right. This park was created in 1965 as the Indian River State Park and it was renamed to the Delaware Seashore State Park in 1966. There are over six miles of shoreline, including two guarded swimming areas containing modern bathrooms with showers, changing rooms, and concession stands. Head over to Coin Beach, which as the name suggests, has offered opportunities to find coins buried in the sands. Surf fishing is popular here, and so is four-wheeling. There are a lot of sand dunes in the area for that. There are several kayak launching points here, and a marina for you that have bigger boats, plus a campground and some cottages down by the river inlet. Coming up next, you can see the four towers of the Indian River Inlet Bridge, its official name, the Charles W. Cullen Bridge. The bridge is a cable stayed bridge, which means that the cable stays, of which there are 152 of them, run from the towers directly to the deck, forming a pattern that fans out across the bridge. The bridge is 2,600 feet long and has a clearance of 45 feet above the water, and it was opened in 2012 at a cost of $150 million. Construction started in 2008. The southbound lanes were opened in January of 2012, with one northbound lane opening 10 days later, and then the final dedication being made in May. This is the fifth bridge at this location, all of them being known as the Indian River Inlet Bridge and the last four being dedicated as the Charles W. Cullen Bridge. If the engineers have their way, this bridge won't need to be replaced for a hundred years. We're approaching the town limits of Bethany Beach, where we are greeted by signs for the James Farm Ecological Preserve and the Delaware National Guard training site, here on your right. The James Farm is operated by the Delaware Center for the Inland Bays. They seek to both preserve and educate the public about the surrounding watershed. It's open every day for free. Pets are allowed on a leash, and you can hike two different trails through seven distinct habitats of marshes, forests, and meadows. The wetlands attract many animals, the land kind and the water kind, so keep an eye out for that.
Here on our left is the fourth World War II observation tower that we've seen on this trip. We're also coming into Fenwick Island State Park. Now, first of all, despite its name, we are not actually on an island. We do have water on both sides of us, but this strip of land is still connected to the mainland up near Bethany. We still have the Atlantic Ocean on our left, and this time on the right we have the Little Ass Woman Bay. Just like before, the Atlantic side offers access to the beaches and swimming, while on the bay side there are opportunities for crabbing, clamming, kayaking, windsurfing, and sailing. Fenwick Island State Park was established in 1966 as a part of the Delaware Seashore State Park, and it was renamed in 1981. There hasn't been a lot of development here as this area is only three miles wide, and the shifting dunes makes it difficult to build many homes. As we make our way through Fenwick, Delaware 1 will come to an end at the state line. From there, it will continue as Maryland 528. In our next video, we will loop our way down through Ocean City and back. If you enjoyed this trip, go ahead and hit that like button so others might be able to experience this trip. And we'll catch you next time from Ocean City.